Hi, everybody. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm Jay Sabalski. Welcome to the Shark Tank here in San Jose. Ray, listen to the energy in the arena here tonight. They know it's critical. The players know it's critical. What's the message here? Oh, there's really nothing that can't be said that isn't so obvious. Hey, series is tied. We got a chance to take the lead. Play our best game. Be as aggressive as you can. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Let's the wrister fly. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged a good save. And that's broken up. Hammers a shot. Great save by Dubnik. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Nice pass. The Sharks play it along the wing. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Passes it over to Pugliarvi. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to LeBanc. Sends a pass over. Here they are on the attack. Unleashes a cannon! And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Taken along the wall by Carlson. With some open space here in the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Meyer. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Now over to Yamamoto. Edmonton's moving it into the offensive end. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the pass over to Shimmick. Takes the pass. Picked up along the boards by Couture. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And they'll dump it in. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Moves it quickly over to Carlson. From the boards, he takes that pass. Puck scooped up by Jones. Takes the feed with the steal. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Feeds the puck to Couture. Quick pass to Marlowe. Move to the middle, and that one's blocked. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still scoreless in this one. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Dumps it into the O-zone. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. The Oilers going to work on offense. And they score on the board early here. What a disappointment for the home crowd as they get into their seats and already their home club is down one. He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin. The Oilers have set the tone early in this one, Ray. You can take control of the pace if you play it from in front. They've done that very well here. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Scored by number 39. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Puck grabbed by Russell. Moves it to Cassian. And now he angles it across to Chase on. Moves the puck. The Sharks have it from their own end. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. And now it's grabbed by Kara. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see what the officials say. 
The Sharks will serve two minutes in the box. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hands will go up. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. This is where your big boys get to really earn their money. Out on the power play for the very first time tonight. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Slides it over with pace to Nugent Hopkins. And we've got a two-on-one. He scores! Quickly, two goals in right around 90 seconds. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just couldn't put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Edmonton's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Hurdles won the draw here in the neutral zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot and makes the save. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Takes the feed. Slides the puck over. Pokes it away in his own end. Battling for it along the boards. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. The Sharks have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. His stick gets in between his feet, and when the player goes down, the penalty's going to be called. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. Blocked by... He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. effective power play there they move the puck around and they're able to find him right in the middle of the slot puck possession so critical another face off coming up here The Sharks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. Edmonton's got it from behind the net. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Sends the pass over. And now he moves it to Nelson. Big play inside the defensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. Grabbed along the boards by Nurse. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Nosen. Make a change, make a change. And we'll get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. Everybody likes to think of themselves as a little bit of a clutch performer. If you score at this time of the year, you are that. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, Edmonton's really put the squeeze on here now up by three. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. That's set in deep. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Carries the puck up through center. Can't hang on after that hit. From point blank, stones him in front. He's on it, good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. The Oilers came hungry to play this one, and they lead as a result here in the first. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. 
The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Pushes it across to Cassian. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Centering pass. Here's a shot. Puts it wide. And the goalie doesn't even have to make an effort on that. It's that shot. Even though it's close, misses the net. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. And they can convert to the play. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Oilers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. San Jose's looking to break out. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Receives the pass. Here's a short pass to Meyer. No one home on that play. The Oilers have it against the wall. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Nice pass. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. 3-0 is where we sit. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Shimmick. Handles the puck. Burns plays it now. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Quick feed to Burns. Sends a pass over. Dumps it in. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Ties him up, and it didn't go unnoticed in the eyes of the officials here. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the oh. ice. Scores! Well, they were going to get a power play. You don't get one now. That goal will nullify the penalty. Quick shot on the first attempt, but that rebound came right back to him. And he's able to settle it and put it into the net before anyone else can stop him. Edmonton's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Moves it quickly over to Burns. San Jose's got the puck against the half wall. Quick pass to McDavid. Along the right side into the offensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. Kane's going off to the box for two minutes. He was about halfway through that swing, James, and the official had his arm in the air. Would have been at least a base hit in your days as a ball player. Well, that might have been more than that. Edmonton's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. As someone who played a lot on the power play, you get one early in a game, it gives you more confidence. They look like they're ready to get another one. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puck picked up by Vlasic. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Passed up ahead. Takes the pass. Turris setting up against the wall. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Vlasic. The Sharks slide it through center. That pass goes a little sideways. Hammers a shot and makes the save. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Snaps one on that. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Dubnik. And that goes off a player in front. There's another stop. Dubnik's probably had a few saves tonight. He's felt better about than that one, but he got just enough of it to keep it out of the net. The Oilers are dominating in almost every facet of the game here in the first. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a backhander. Gives them nothing in front. 
I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Edmonton's offense has been shining brightly so far in this first period. Couture's one possession. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Excellent stick work on the play. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Delayed penalty coming up here. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. Kara's getting called for two minutes here by the officials. Well, next time he's going to have to find a better way to get in front of the player. He reaches out and grabs him. He'll go to the box. I feel like you could have got away with this back in your day. You could get away with a lot in our day. <laughs> and their first chance to use the man advantage. You can set a special team trend if your first power play is a positive one. Get some shots. Get some pressure. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it to Couture. Can't get a hold of that pass. Battle along the boards. Strong defensive effort. It's a two-on-one. And there's the save. Edmonton's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Puck clears the zone. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Nice poke check. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And a successful clearing attempt. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Jabs the puck away. Scrum along the boards. San Jose's got the puck. Time running out on this power play. They've got one last chance here. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. The Sharks can't convert on the power play. Both, and he rings the post! The Sharks don't need a shot off the goalpost. I think what they need here, James, is a field goal to get back in this contest. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Take it along the wall by Meyer. Standing tall with the save! The Oilers gain control of it. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Taken by LeBanc. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Couldn't make that one happen. Answered the call there. Puck battle along the boards. Maintains possession. Bears moving the puck through his own zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Slides it across. He scores! One timer and a butte. This is a really good place to get lost on the ice. The defensemen are down low defending. The forwards are worried about the point. If you can find this high slot play, you often are going to get a one-timer. The Oilers have capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead comfortably here late in the first. Edmonton's won the draw in the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. San Jose's in now. There's the horn. You could have replaced it with a white flag based on the score of this one after the first 20. Now's your chance to play clean. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the recycling bins throughout the arena. Thank you, fans, for joining us in the campaign to save energy and keep our city clean. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports.
And we're going to see a swapping of the goaltenders. You ever wonder in a blowout why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Second period set to get underway. It was a disaster first. Here we go. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? The Sharks haven't done really anything that they can be satisfied with. They trail in the game. They haven't had many shots on net. They're not even really in the play. The Oilers continue to lead big here in this second period. The Sharks win the draw. Feeds it down low. McDavid's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Here's a chance. And that's blocked. Picked up along the boards by Hurdle. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And he slides it quickly to Shimmick. In close! Oh, he got paddled by Koskinen! Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. The Sharks have it against the wall. And now it's over to Shimmick. Right in front! Misses! That's a little bit of panic. The puck is on his stick. He's in the middle of the ice, and he misses the net. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. McDavid's got the puck. Centering pass. Stopped by the goaltender. Pugliarvi's exploring options with the puck. And that pass goes awry. LeBanks caught with the hook, and the officials saw it. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The Oilers have been handed two minutes for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. The Sharks once again send out their power play unit. I like this. They got together right before the faceoff and discussed a couple of options. They haven't had a lot of opportunities tonight. His reflexes on display tonight. Koskinen's had to do his part. He's had a good night in the goal, but at the other end, they've been really sharp around the net. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. The Sharks played along the boards. Sends it across. Oh, what a blocker stop by Koskinen. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. And the puck leaves the zone. Pushes it across to Burns. Here's a short pass to Marlowe. Wrist shot from the slot, and that's blocked. Here's an offensive chance. Pass right on the doorstep, and that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Couture is one of their only hopes to get back in the game. Their deficit is so large, they're going to need a lot to go right. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Time to execute here on this power play. Quick feed to Couture. Couldn't complete the play. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around, and I guess at times it looked dangerous, but just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through their fingers. Kane's got it along the wing. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Stopped by the blocker. Nothing doing on that. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Looks to pass it to Yamamoto. Takes the feed. Loses his balance on the play. Look out, a two-on-one. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Moves the puck to Nieto. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Larson's taking it from his own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Moves it over to Marlowe. 
San Jose's across the blue line. Move to the middle, and that's picked off. And he gets a paddle on that one. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Koskinen's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. Still lots of time left in the period. Edmonton's got a 5-0 lead. That's right, 5-zip is where we sit. Barry's got it along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Sorensen. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Marlowe. Feeds it over to Neal. The Oilers move it ahead. And he regains control of the puck. Oh, what a stop by Koskinen. Moves the puck. The Sharks take possession here in the open ice. Slides the puck over to Marlowe. The Sharks will play it from the corner. And now he angles it across to Shimmick. Puck scooped up by Jones. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. The guy goes down and you're toast every time. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, the power play's been confident, hasn't it? Move the puck, shoot the puck, and they've scored several times here as they get another chance. Moves it on over to Couture. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Puck grabbed by Nurse. And a penalty coming up here as the officials all over that as they saw him slow him up. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. The Sharks have been called for hooking. That's kind of a bad penalty to take. You reach out with your hands and the referee sees your stick parallel to the ice. He's going to call it most times. Edmonton's got a five on three and the clock's their BFF here. The coaches were talking to the power play about don't be too cautious. Get the puck on goal early. Made the stop on that play. Nine minutes, 19 seconds. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Oilers have it from their own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Moves it quickly over to Neal. He was locked in there. Denies him again. The Sharks have it now. Angles it over to Sorensen. Scrum ensues along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. With the backhand. Stopped by the goaltender. He scores no hole in a second here. They're saying no goal. Immediately, this is waved off. This is not going to be a goal. Neil's shot is able to elude the goalie, but almost immediately you can see in his body language that he wonders if there's a problem. I thought this one was going to count, but clearly not here. Well, they obviously didn't like the call, but not a lot of time to dwell on it as we are ready to get play back underway. Torres wins it, and now it's grabbed by Nurse. Quick pass to Torres. The easy glove save by Jones. Edmonton's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Carlson's got it in the defensive end. Donato's got it across the line. Last call here on this man advantage. Yeah, the power play's got to get the puck up the ice with a little bit of urgency. And that's stopped by Jones. They go on the attack through center. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Manages to hang on. Can't catch up to the pass. And now he moves it to Meyer. Here's an odd man rush. Scores! He put it into his own net. Oh, he looked 
looked like he had stopped it, and when he couldn't quite find it, he turns around and bangs it into his own net. That's a tough one. San Jose's got one here in the second. They need many more to follow, though. Yeah, but they've got to start somewhere, I guess. Something positive, something to build on, but it's been a pretty rotten game for them so far. Gains the zone through the middle. Karras got it against the boards. Can't keep a hold of it. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry to get over the boards in a hurry. The Oilers get a hold of the puck under man. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. They move the puck out of harm's way. Hurdle stick handling in his own zone. Kane swooping in on the attack. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Gets it out of his own end. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Shot right in front. Turns it away. Couture has been able to fight through the tight checking of the playoffs to be among the league leaders in points in this postseason. The Oilers lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Ennis wins the faceoff. Grabbed along the boards by Jones. And he can't hang on after that hit. Puck picked up by Hurdle. Taken by Marlowe. To his teammate. Great stop by Koskinen. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Way too much congestion blocks that. Set it out in front. And that one's blocked. Again the denial by the goaltender. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. And he gets a whistle after they've been under siege here. They look like five strangers trying to defend in front of him. No Finally, kidding. he's able to cover it up. That's a dangerous scoring chance. But the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Well past the midway mark of this period. 5-1 is where we sit to this point. Scooped up along the wall by Russell. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Takes it at center. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Turn that one aside. Puck scooped up by Nosen. Handles the pass at center. Centering pass! Stick save by Koskinen. Picked up along the wall by Puyo Yarby. Pass to Nugent Hopkins. The Oilers carry it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Larson. And he comes up with it. The shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice. But the goalie's in position. And he makes a nice stick save. Here in the late goings of the period, the Oilers lead it by a score of 5-1. Their offense came to play in a big way tonight. On the doorstep, redirected in front. Great save by the goaltender on that redirect. The Oilers are on cruise control here in the second. They have absolutely dominated. San Jose's won the draw. Scoops up the puck now. And it's a quick pass to LeBanc. Pinned up along the boards. Moves it to Cahoon. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Nothing happening on the miss. Oh, he's got to get it on the target. Doesn't matter how hard you shoot it. If the goalie doesn't have to make a save, it's not even a chance. Burns carries the puck in his own zone. Passes on over to Hurdle. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Exploring options from behind his own net. Slides the puck ahead to Yamamoto. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. 
Moves right to the middle. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Here's a short pass to Couture. Takes the feed. That goes wide. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Trying to get back on the attack now. Quick feed to Carlson. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. And that one's broken up. Great block there. And that goes wide. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. The Oilers take it across the line. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Break away. Here's the pass. Whoa. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. He's able to work his way into the low slot to take that pass. He doesn't stop it, so the goalie can't catch up to it. The Sharks still have a big mountain to climb here in the second. Yeah, but they show a little life, I guess, James. I mean, things have gone so poorly for them, but that goal has to give them a little energy. Edmonton's won the draw. They've got numbers. Sends it over. Receives the pass. Can't get it to go. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Now a quick pass to Ennis. Slides the puck over. That pass doesn't go. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, no, none. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Scrum along the boards. The Oilers have it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Neal. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Limited edition team prints are available tonight at your team store. Get yours before they're all gone. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Third period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. The Sharks win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. And he loses control of the puck. Strong defensive effort. And now it's over to Dreisaitl. The Sharks gain possession of the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Nice zone entry from the left. Puck grab by Middleton. The Sharks are in transition. Taken along the wall by Neal. Knocked away. And the puck takes a funky bounce off the broken stick on the ice. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Sends the pass over. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't... And they score! He's playing the percentages, drops into the butterfly, but it doesn't help him. He gets beat pretty cleanly.
Edmonton's taken a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal well, after goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Makes the save, and he got a blocker on it. Really good positioning as he makes this all alone. And that falls apart. I can tell you one play that won't be on his highlight reel. <laughs> Not that one. Nice feed from the right wing. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Shot, and he makes the save. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Oh, a little too much stick work, and the officials with their arms in the air. And there's the whistle stopping the play. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one. Hands booking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. Power play unit going back to work. Oh, here's another power play, James. They haven't been very good so far tonight. Nothing to show for their previous attempts. So now you have to get back to it, adjust, and re-attack on this man advantage. Nice pass. Moves it to the offensive zone. The Sharks gain possession in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Couture. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Couldn't find the intended target. Trying to clear the zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Quick pass to Meyer. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And he coughs it up with the pass. Hurdles lugging the puck. Slides it across to Marlowe. Handles the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Donato. Right to the middle! Here's a chance! Gets in front of it. And that carries off a stick. Pokes it away in his own end. Sends a pass over. The Oilers get back to even strength as the penalty killing unit delivers. Well, these penalty killers have been on the same page from the drop of the puck tonight. They have been outstanding when they've been a man down. Grabs it in his own end. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. And that's picked off in front. From the left side, moves it up ahead. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Big play inside the defensive zone. Tries to make that cross ice speed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Moves it to Neal. He scores! They make it another! They don't slow down. You get one, you get two. Now, coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goalie. Take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Oilers are on absolute cruise control here in the third. Well, they've built such a large margin. You can use your whole bench and coast it in. And now it's grabbed by Nurse. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Cahoon. The Oilers move to the offensive zone. Here's a chance, and that's blocked. Hurdle's got the puck in his own zone. And now he tries to get it across to Nieto. From the right side, they gain the zone. On the doorstep, denies him with the blocker with a stop by Koskinen. The Oilers continue to lead big here in this third period. San Jose's won the faceoff. Great chance in front. Moves into the slot. Off the crossbar. My goodness, what a shot. San Jose's night isn't getting any shorter. They're down big, and that shot hits the post. Denies him in front. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. They could have used this as they try to climb back into this game. 
The shot beats the goaltender, but not the pipe. It stays out. The Oilers continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Edmonton's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. Takes a shot. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. The Sharks take it along the wall. Puck dumped in. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Gains the zone through center. Centering pass. Turns him away. The setters will glide into the dot. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Oilers gain control of the puck against the wall. Stays with it. Cuts into the paint. Great stick work as he pokes it away. Big save by the goaltender once again. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Torres is quick on the draw. Snaps it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Slides it on over to Sorensen. San Jose's in transition. Quick feed to Marlowe. Fires one on goal. Stopped by the goaltender. Koskinen's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. The Oilers have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. San Jose's won the draw. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Puck picked up by Chason. Moves it quickly over to Kara. Takes the pass. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Hurdle. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Vlasic. There's the whistle. Offside is the call, stopping the play. The Oilers have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Dreisaitl's won the draw. Handles the puck from the left side. Takes the feed. Stick save and a beaut by Jones. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Can't connect. Quick pass to Dreisaitl. And they come up empty-handed. Kane slowed down with the hook, and the official's arm is in the air. There's the whistle, and the official's set to give the call. Dreisaitl's getting two for hooking. I guess at a certain point, you got to let the guy go. But he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Time for the power play to go to work. They haven't had a lot of chances tonight. Takes a shot off a stick. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Penalty coming up. Puck clear from the defensive end. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is made. The Sharks will serve two for holding. Player's got a little bit of a beef here, but when you reach out with your arm, that signals to the official to keep a closer look. It's a penalty no matter how you shine it these days. They'll play some four on four. Well, the faceoff, of course, is pretty critical. You're not going to have as many scrums four on four, so if you get the puck first, you're going to get it and hold it. Takes the feed. Comes up with a stop. 11 minutes, 58 seconds. The Oilers' offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. San Jose's got possession here in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Kane. San Jose's moving the puck through center ice. Excellent stick work on the play. There's the whistle. Penalty coming up. The Sharks don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. 
soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick parallel to the ice. It's going to get called most every time. They'll play four on three here. The four on three power play is always really difficult to defend. It seems like the puck moves quicker than when it's a five on three. Denies that opportunity. And now he angles it across to Burns. Moves the puck. Takes it into the slot. Big save. Koskinen's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. The Oilers have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. The Sharks win it. Taken by Vlasic. Stopped by the goaltender. Battling for it along the boards. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. To the front! From the slot! Stones him in front, and it's a quick pass to Ennis. Receives the pass. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Jones! The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Too many bodies in the way. He scores! Put into special and special teams tonight. Uh, the extra work they've done, the way that they've moved some people around, has helped them cash in more than once on the power play. He's in the bucket in the middle of the slot. They move the puck around him, find him in the middle, and he makes no mistake. Edmonton's lamp lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Puts it in deep. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Time of the goal, 13 minutes, 55. Great defensive effort with the stick. With the stop. It doesn't really matter that the power play didn't score. They've got such a nice lead. But I'll tell you, as a guy that made a living on the power play, I wanted to score every time I was out there. Fails to find the open man. Keeps hold of the puck. Solid check to slow him down. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in the... And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Now a quick pass to Meyer. Slides the puck over. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Turris works the puck in his own zone. San Jose's got it behind the net. Puts it to the front of the net. Here's a pass down low. Sends the pass over. And now he moves it to Meyer. Denied by Koskinen. Edmonton's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Scooped up along the wall by Cassian. The Sharks have it against the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Nice poke check. Passes the puck over to LeBanc. Battle along the boards. Pumps the puck away. Picked up along the wall by LeBanc. Jostles the puck loose. Nice pass. Slides the puck down low. Takes that pass back at the point. Quick shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Koskinen's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. The Oilers have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Puck scooped up by Russell. Moves it to Cassian. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Hangs up. And now he moves it quickly to Larson. And sends it just out of reach. Took it along the wall by Nielsen. Throws it in. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Koskinen's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game.
Good job tangling up his opponent here. The Oilers move it in. Here he is in front. Easy peasy right there by Jones. And now it's over to Nosen. From center, they get into the attacking area. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Koskinen's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. The Oilers are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. Puck grabbed by Larson. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. That's just a great heads-up read at center ice. Here's a short pass to McDavid. And he denied that opportunity. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Quick feed to Cahoon. The Oilers will play it in their own end. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. From in close. Gives them nothing in front. Smothered that in close chance. The Oilers aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Not able to connect. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Couture's got it in the offensive zone. A chance right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Here's a chance in front. Monster saved by Jones. Koskinen's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Sharks win it in the defensive zone. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Maybe a simple case of anything you can do, I can do better tonight, Ray. Absolutely so, James. It's funny how you can almost feel the pressure in the game as it's a 1-1 series. Now everything gets more and more critical. My name is James Sabalski, and on behalf of Ray Ferraro, thanks so much for hanging out with us. What an intense evening from this playoff atmosphere.